In the West African nation of Benin, lakes and wetlands are being depleted of fish due to overfishing and destruction of natural habitats. But as this report from the International Fund for Agricultural Development explains, many of these lakes are being rehabilitated and fishermen and fish sellers are finding alternative ways to make a living. Rose Mensah is waiting for cars to stop on the main road from Benin to Togo. She is not the only one selling fried fish and shrimps. The competition is steep and fish in Lake Ahimi are getting scarce. Rose, mother of four, was struggling to make a living. But now she has embarked on a new activity which she hopes will enable her to leave the roadside market once and for all. Three years ago, she took advantage of an innovative project and turned from fish seller to rabbit breeder. She was given training and started off with three females and one male rabbit. Today, she has over 200. I can sell up to 30 rabbits a month. With the money, I run the house, pay for my children's school, and still have some left to set aside just in case. Rose lives on the shores of Lake Ahimi, one of a network of lagoons in southern Benin, West Africa, and the main source of sustenance and livelihood for the local population. But now there are only small fish left and not enough to go around. Growing communities have led to overfishing. The villages, encroaching the shores, have destroyed the mangroves which once provided natural shelter and breeding grounds for fish and soil erosion is filling the lake with sand. Before there was a lot of money to be made with fish, but now the fishermen only catch small fish and sometimes come back with none at all. With over 600,000 fisher folk in Benin facing extreme poverty, the United Nations International Fund for Agricultural Development, or EFAD, funded a project in 2004 to rehabilitate the natural resources, reduce fishing, and help people like Rose find alternative ways to make a living. So far, over 2,000 fisher folk have been trained to take up new professions. Cutting down on the amount of fishing was only part of the solution. To increase fish numbers and size, the degraded lakes and wetlands needed to be reclaimed. Farmers were provided with tech and acacia seedlings to plant, and water canals were constructed to combat soil erosion. But fish also need refuges to feed and breed, so mangroves were planted and fish shelters created. They started selling fish, producing firewood, they were creating their own resources and making money, and people started saying, if we knew this was possible, we would have begun earlier. Since the beginning of this project, over 10,000 Fisher families have been reached, but a further 80,000 are still in need of an opportunity to escape poverty and improve their lives. Change takes time, and fishing for these communities is part of their heritage. Meanwhile, Rose still goes twice a week to buy fish, which she cooks in the evening to sell at the market. But she no longer sees fish as her future. She is planning on expanding her business to become one of Benin's top rabbit breeders. That report was from the International Fund for Agricultural Development, IFAD, a UN agency.